what is up everybody Sandesh here back again with another video and today in this video we are going to talk about SSR vulnerability so without wasting time we will just roll into the intro and then we will just talk about that SSR vulnerability so first understand what the heck is that SSR so SSR stands for server site request forgery so it might sound a bit complicated while hearing but uh, i would request you not to go that in depth okay so you just need to take it so much lightly and understand okay so uh, each of these words so server site request forgery is a server side that means uh, non other than client side right and request means i don't think i don't i have to explain you forgery means uh, giving the false information or pooling you know so this is what uh, the server size request uh, forgery means uh, in the server size request forgery uh, let's say you are an attacker you will sit a one you know corner of the room and what uh, you will do is using that vulnerability you will try to access some of the content or inside uh, the admin panel or somewhere uh, you know just by becoming a admin user or a high privileged user so you might not understand what I mean to say, but uh, when we will go and see and solve our lab, we can, you know, you can understand because solving an example is far better than thousand word lecture, right? So what I will do is I'll just go there and I'll just click on access the lab. Okay. So let's read this lab description, which have, you know, which have this start check feature uh, is vulnerable and all we need to do is we need to log into the admin panel uh, and delete this username Carlos. So you can see this localhost is the, you know, I, I don't think I need to make you understand about the meaning of localhost. So you can just uh, detach that word local and host. So you might understand what that does that word means. And uh, you are trying to be a local host. Uh, it is a local server and you are trying to access the content inside that web application that that is what the you know concept of server side request forgery is so what i'll do is i'll just go and check where is that stock check feature okay so i'll just go and check every possible option so in the real life scenario you also have to do the same so you should go and check the every possible option so i got this stock check feature so what i'll do is i'll just click this and here I have something there and you can see this is url encoded right and whenever you will see something uh, encoded or decoded you know encoded in the uh, url or it might not be encoded in the url in some case as well so you should go and check for server side request forgery so yes sir so what i will do is i will just send this to the repeater i will just turn up the intercept i will just go to the repeater and i will try to see what was you know what will be its content when it is uh, not encoded right so it is url encoded okay so i'll just click on this url record and it is just checking for the stock id so i'll just send this and okay so it is selling missing parameter because previously it was url encoded but now we have decoded it so i'll just encode it and i'll send this so 788 so I'll, you can just render if you wish but uh, there is no much uh, any kind of uh, useful information over here so now what we will do is i'll just decode it once again i'll just go and clear this and i'll just write localhost okay so let me send this and see what i will get when i you know write this localhost so what i'll do is i will just write localhost slash admin oh i think previously there was one so we got this not found so what we'll do i'll just send this localhost okay it seems like we have got something useful so i'll just render it okay so nothing special is over here so we have to do everything over here and you see this admin panel uh, that is included over here and that is what the server side request forgery means you know the, your computer is the local host for this uh, you know i mean this is server for this web application and you are trying to access uh, this application admin panel using this local host right so what we will do is we will have to go to this admin panel and as per the lab description given to us uh, we have that admin panel it's slash admin right so we will go with slash admin and i will just send this okay okay so you can see there is a users uh, carlos and winner okay so what i will do is uh, you know in some case you might not understand uh, you know find out where is that 
you cannot find out this uh, location of this admin so what we will do is i will just send this and again send this once again and you might not understand uh, when uh, where you when will you get that admin panel so what you need to do is you have this admin panel right so you just need to remember this word you can just go to this rod and you, i need to show this raw option you can just do admin panel and you can see in this html it is uh, pointing towards slash admins means uh, you have your admin panel at slash admin if there was uh, something other written than that slash admin in this admin panel then you have to write that same okay so add, i hope you got this so i will just send this and uh, you will see the functionality of deleting that two users okay so we have to delete these users but we don't know what uh, you know what should we do to delete this user so you have this deleting user functionality over here but you cannot click so what you need to do you just need to go to this wrong second and you can write car loss and you can see slash uh, delete question mark username equals to carlos after writing this i guess you can uh, delete this user so what i will do is i will just go and write uh, slash delete question mark username equal to carlos right so i will just send this and see what will happen and next time if it do not gives us the right result then we will uh, include include it within you know this code so i will just go there okay so we have our lab solve and i hope you guys got the point and concepts of uh, ssrf vulnerability so i hope you guys uh, you know love this video make sure to like share and subscribe that's all for today thank you take care